Ableton Live has now supercharged its intro and light versions. With its new update 11.3, it's made them better than ever before and amazing value for money. They have been packed full of loads of new awesome features. So let's jump into Ableton and look at my five new favorite features of Ableton Live intro and light. So the first feature is a new auto warp algorithm. So before Ableton Live had a warping algorithm, it was good for shorter samples if they had a clear start and stop point, but wasn't very good if you were importing whole songs for like remixes or beat making. If it didn't have a clear start and end point and tempo fluctuations, there was really no point in turning it on. But now they've optimized it and it's a lot better. So how you turn it on is you go up to live settings and then you want to go down to record warp launch menu, turn on auto warp long samples if you haven't already. Once you've done that, reboot Ableton Live and open up again and that will activate it. Okay, so drag in your sample you wish to warp. Now what it's done is it's automatically looked for the bars in the sample and warped it to the grid. So now if I go and choose the tempo I'd wish here, turn my metronome on, solo up this track and let's see if it's in time. Great, now let's see if I fluctuate the tempo. Yeah, it's got it in time, great. Now that's amazing for, you know, if you want to use the pitching stuff as well. And then bring a beat in. Awesome. Check that out. Next is the amazing new synth, which is Drift. So Drift is a is modeled on an analog subtractive style synthesis. It's ripping off synths such as the, the Moog, the Minilog, the Grandmother, Korg MS-20, all those really rich, warm sounding analog synths. And it does this with a super user friendly interface. You have your oscillator section here, your filters, envelope section, mod section, and then this is the heartbeat of Drift which we have this section here, which is the actual, what's well, where it gets its name from, Drift. Basically, it puts the two oscillators and the filter frequency out of phase and sync with each other, so you get this movement. That, combined with the stereo mode, pans those voices around the uh, stereo image. Let's say the synth with just the poly and no drift on. Introduce the stereo mode. Here we go. Drift. Next is not a new addition to Ableton Live, but it's one that's new to intro, which is the external MIDI instrument. So this has been found in standard and sweet. Let's look at that. So you drag it onto an empty MIDI channel. Then essentially what it does is it works out all your MIDI and audio IO for an external synthesizer. So if you had another external synthesizer plugged in and you would like to control with Ableton Live's clips and automation, you would simply select where you would like the MIDI to be sent to. For example, if I had something plugged in here, say let's do the IAC driver, I would choose the MIDI channel that's been set up on my controller, say six. Then I would record audio straight in here. Now, the benefit of doing that is it will combat any of the latency. Also, what you can do is then you could put on your audio effects, so like a filter delay, and it would run through all these effects. Fantastic. This is great for live performance. Also, it's great for recording your and processing your external equipment. You can then record this in by either freezing the track. Then it's not going to record if any real time automation you would like to do with your hands. If that's what you're into, all you would do then is you would get a, an audio track here. You put the audio from external in, arm it, and then you could either do pre effects or post effects. I'd do pre effects and then you just would record basically the output of this track in there. The next thing that's amazing is the MPE capabilities. Now this is something that's not new again to Ableton Live, but they've made it a lot more accessible within light and intro. So how they've done that is again, sounds like I'm repeating myself with this drift synth. So let's bring in the drift synth again. So here we go. Let's drag drift into here. 
Now, if you look, there as various modulation points on the synth. So here, one here, and we've also got a mod page here. Now, if you look within this one here, you can see something that says slide, pressure, velocity, all this other stuff. So slide and pressure are two of the MPE parameters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the note expression page. Then I have my slide and pressure automation, my lanes here, and then also directly on the notes, I have the note slide. So I can, I can get my notes to manually slide down. Now the difference between automation and MPE is it's like basically polyphonic automation. You've got it for each single note of the chord. So for example, here, if I do this pitch, that's only gonna happen on that one note. If I want it to happen on this note, I'd have to go in individually and do it like that. So whereas automation, if I did something, maybe this like that. Now I have an automation there just for that one note. And then I can click here. Maybe I have a different slide, go like that. Now, if I go back into the synth here, I've got slide, which is on the, the shape here. I can put that up to 100%. Crazy stuff. So you see there, I can go in and change it straight away. Now this works fantastically, obviously with MPE capable controllers as well, such as Ableton's new Push 3, which features all these parameters on their new pads. So that brings me on to the last point, which is the price. So Lite is technically free. I say technically because it become it comes free with certain pieces of hardware. Check Ableton Live's website to see what pieces of equipment come with Ableton Live. Also, it's worth checking if you've brought a MIDI controller or audio interface recently, log into or register your product on the manufacturer's website and log into your, your account to see what software you've got free. You just might already have Ableton Live Lite. Now, if you want to get intro, let's have a look at how much that is to buy. So in the UK, 2023, Ableton Live 11 intro is £69 and you have the option to pay in three installments, which is super, super good. You know, most people would just pay £69 just for the drift synth. If you are a teacher or if you're a student, you can get a 40% discount. Cha-ching. Okay, so I just went to educational offers in the shop. If you scroll down, that brings Ableton Live intro down to £41. So you can pay that in three installments. So if you're new to Ableton Live Lite and you'd like to learn more, I have a playlist about all the things you need to know about Ableton Live Lite. Also, if you're not sure which version to get Ableton Live Lite or intro, I have a video here which will go through all the key features and I'll unpack which one will be best for you. Hopefully see you in the next video. Bye for now.